Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP Minneapolis, St. Paul. Marley, Dylan, it is really great talking to both of you today. I'm a massive Scream fan, and I just absolutely love this new one. So congrats to both of you, and thanks for the time today. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Marley, I want to know, how has your life changed since Scream 4? And do people want to ask you about lemon bars every time they see you or go to a party with you? I, I feel like I have an entire new fan base um, <laughs> of avid Scream fans, which is so so cool and such an honor. Um, and yes, the lemon square thing, I never saw that coming, it's hysterical. But they, it's, it's almost gone viral. It's, <laughs> it's like right. people are obsessed with the lemon bars. Lemon squares. I mean, lemon squares. I mean, they are good. A good lemon square. You can't beat a good potluck. <laughs> now, Dylan, I love all the green, by the way. I'm Irish, so I'm loving the green. Now, yeah. Dylan. You know, mother and son, we like to yeah. dress alike. Right. <laughs> yes, <Coordinate>. Absolutely. <laughs> now, describe getting the call that you were going to be in a scream movie. I mean, I was really hoping for it. It was at a point where I'd already made it very clear that I wanted to be in the movie. Um, so I was just waiting for it. Like, I, and it was like, Inklings like, oh, you're in the conversation. Oh, they, yeah, it's like might happen. And you're like, oh my god, I just want to know. And then, yeah, when I found out, it was just so relieving and just so exciting. And like, I just immediately jumped into like marathoning the screen movies again because I just wanted to feel refreshed and excited. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm it's, I'm still over the moon about it. I'm excited it's finally coming out and I get to just watch myself in a screen movie. Right, that, that's awesome. Yeah. How, what kind of security measures were there on set to just avoid spoilers? Were there like fake pages of the script? Did you only get your own sides? Were there multiple ending shots so that everything was a secret? We did have different endings. People had different... Um... Yeah, we all got our, our own script with its a different ending. And so, ah. and we were all convinced that the script we had was the real one. Uh, like the real ending. In fact, it's funny, I was saying earlier that um, when I got my version of the script, the producers even went so far as to call me like a few hours later and be like, oh, hey, because they were all numbered and watermarked and they were like, did you get such and such number? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh, okay, good, because we thought you, we gave you the wrong draft and we were really freaked out. I, I think that was all a ruse now, looking back, that this was all just part of the, the scam. Um, to keep us in the dark, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to follow up on that. Right, that's hysterical. Yeah. Was, do you like that as actors not knowing, or does it kind of bother you that you're like, well, I don't know the full arc of this movie or where it's going next? I think with Scream, you have to just commit that you're a potential victim and a potential suspect at all times. I mean, that's the whole idea anyway. Where all the characters always teasing that out for the audience. Um, so I think you just have to surrender, right? Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Now. Nev, I've heard that Nev Campbell and both Jamie Lee Curtis, both these iconic scream queens, the, the final girl, they actually both don't like watching scary movies. So is it, <laughs> you guys actually like watching scary movies on top of being in one now? I love watching scary movies. They're like, I'm, I'm obsessed. Huge, I'm a huge horror fan. I do too. I'm it. more for the, the, you know, psychological thriller than the straight out slasher, which I think Scream is definitely psychological horror. And obviously it's got some great slasher moments too. Um, but yeah, I, I like a good scary movie. I think they're the most fun movies oh, to be yeah. in as well, because when you go and, and you watch them in a movie theater with people and you're in it, you're just waiting for their reactions to things and you, and you don't get the same effect if it's like, if you're on a drama or, you know, something like that. It, it's, it is better when it's a horror movie. You're like, oh, I can't wait for them to see this part and this jump scare. And <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, I got the rap. It's been great. I was the one audibly reacting in our screening to all the little like references and pop culture things that I had a total talk about. So thank you so uh, much. I appreciate the time. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Melissa, it is fantastic talking to both of you today. I am a massive screen fan. And Melissa, when I, when I talked to you for In the Heights, I told you that. So I'm just glad that we can t finally talk about it today. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thanks this movie about. is. I love this movie. And it's such a fantastic addition to this franchise. I'm just so excited fans get to see it. Thank you. Yeah, Thank now you. Melissa. Yeah. Now, did Nav or Courtney give you any advice on being the lead in a screen movie and kind of what to expect afterwards? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> Nev, <laughs> Nev did give like a general piece of advice to all of us, which was have fun, which we did because we just became so like a family. We had so much fun making it. But I learned a lot from Nev and Courtney just by watching them work. You know, like watching their work ethic, their professionalism, the way that they approach scenes. They have so much experience with these movies and the world. So they also 
were guiding us a lot in some of the scenes of like what Wes would have done. And mm. the directors are so, yeah. they, you know, they were welcoming to their input and we all just wanted to like soak it all in, you know? So it was, it was beautiful and they were so generous and we all became such close friends and it's such a beautiful thing to get to, to join such an iconic franchise and and feel welcomed by them you yeah. know the originals they are scream so it's yeah. it's great yeah to have all the all three of them in this was such a big endorsement that we do not take for granted at all. They're amazing. Right. Oh, I just love hearing that. And it was great talking to Nev and David earlier. Now, Jack, one of the things I love about this franchise is its themes of family and fa family dynamics. What have you learned about acting in the industry from your famous parents? Oh man, uh, it's so weird. It's, I, I get this question a lot and I feel like it's like, they haven't really taught, you know, they never really sat me down and gave me like an acting lesson, but uh, they're always there for support. And I feel like I can call them whenever and Specifically in the beginning, you know, uh, I think the the extent of it is really like, how long am I going to wait in this trailer before they call me to set? And the answer is always a very long time. Uh, that's that's usually the case. But no, they've just been supportive the whole way through, which I yeah. definitely appreciate. Oh, I love hearing that. And that sounds like something your dad would say. Um, now, Melissa, this movie has one of my favorite like franchise kills in it. And I don't even say what it is. But do you have any favorite kills or killers from the first four movies? I feel like... One of my favorites is the opening of the second movie, is that that big movie theater scene. It's yeah. just so, it's terrifying because everyone is watching her die and cheering it on, no. thinking it's part of a show. And I just feel like it's the most mortifying thing to to be suffering and people think that you're acting or that it's a joke. I just can't, it's really that is chilling scary. to me. Yeah. So that for me, it really marked me. I mean, Kevin Williamson, a genius. Yes. Now, Jack, have you read any of the fan theories about this? I'm in a Facebook group called Woodsboro Film Club and I'm like, just there's <laughs> like theories all the time. Yeah. Like, oh my God, you guys. So like, did you ever go and read them? I'm like, oh, they've got it. Oh yeah, all the time. I, I've, read, I've read a bunch of them. Uh, I've, I've gone on YouTube. I've, 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 yeah, I've sought Jack's out a like, lot of them. like, I'm the president of that Facebook. I know, that's me. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm the head of the Woodsboro Film Club. No, um, I, th there are some fan theories where I go, uh, wow, uh, they, they got pretty close. And then there are some where I go, they're so off the mark, it's insane. So off the um, mark, but then they're so creative. Yeah, that, that's like, what I appreciate. Yeah. yeah. I love that they're all invested that much, yeah. too. Like, I love that they care about this franchise that much that they all they do is think about it and what are the possibilities so like that is just that's a compliment to the to the franchise i think for sure melissa jack i got the wrap i wish i could keep talking about you this has been amazing and, and i just want to congratulate you again on in the heights because it was such a beautiful beautiful movie and i was just listening to the soundtrack a little bit ago so congrats on that too oh thank you thank you so much yeah. You're welcome. Take care, you guys. Thank you. Bye, you too. Yeah, bye. Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Mason Jasmine, it is so great talking to both of you today. I'm a massive Scream fan, and this is great. So I'm glad you guys are having fun today. And congrats on the movie. You guys are both fantastic in it. Oh, thank, thank you. you. How, how I loved you it. As lovely as this. Oh, this handsome <laughs> devil. <laughs> now, Jasmine, I want to start with you. Describe getting the call that you're going to be in Scream. What went through your head? I was thrilled. I was so excited to get to join this amazing team. I was excited to get back to work because this was in the middle of COVID. I was excited to know I could pay my rent for the next couple months. <laughs> I was just all around excited and grateful. And, and, then, I, and then I met this one. That's right. and, and now here we are today. We are forever united. Truly. I was also excited to be able to pay Jasmine's rent. Yeah, he and pays I my rent. <laughs> Okay. And she lets me. Now, Mason, one of the things I love about this franchise is its themes of family and family dynamics. And I'm curious, what have you learned about acting in the industry from your dad? Uh, I would say that everyone comes together uh, when starting a project all the way through finishing it simply to create a project that they feel proud of, that everyone on set is along for the ride in order to make a project that speaks to who you are as creatives and as artists. And if not, that's when uh, trouble ensues. But I can say on the set of Scream, we were all about making a, a good product that mm -hmm. speaks to the fans and also welcomes yeah. newcomers. Right, right, right. Oh, totally. No, as a fan, I absolutely loved it. I now, so. Jasmine, yeah. Now, what kind of security measures were in place to just avoid spo spoilers? Well, we were given multiple different script endings, each of us. <laughs> So we didn't know. We we didn't even know who the killer was. Is it this person? Is it that person? Is it all of those people? Um, I feel like that's the main one. And then they also 
you know, each night would lock us in a closet and put a padlock on the door. And we didn't have access to our phones. We had to give them our phones and also our IDs. I mean, it's important to protect the integrity of the Scream narrative. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, of course, especially when you have such a connection to the character of Randy, you know, like that's you gotta right. Yeah. That's wow. right. Yeah. Now, this Mason, this movie talks a lot about fandom. Did you read any fan theories kind of either going in or once people when people found out you were in it, like what they were saying to you, what they thought was going to happen? Oh, certainly. I saw a bunch of crazy fan theories that thought I was going to be good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> ridiculous. Jokes on them. Uh, moreover than that, I saw a lot of fan theories about uh, Jasmine and mine's um, relationship to any legacy characters, mm -hmm. being that there aren't many black characters so we really threw them for a loop when uh, yeah. we found out that we made uh, interracial <laughs> marriage is very much a thing. And Lost a big chunk in the audience. That's <laughs> Just right. Kidding. <laughs> that being said, we're happy to be a part. The happy gained it even bigger. I'll stop. That's right. No, <laughs> truly. <laughs> Now, I've heard that Nev Campbell and Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, there's they're these iconic scream queens, these final girls, but they actually hate watching scary movies. So do you both like scary movies on top of being in them? And of course, what's your favorite scary movie outside of the scream movies? I like a good psychological thriller, mm. you know. Um, I'm not super big on scary movies, even though I do think they're important. I just don't love blood or guts, you know. But I think my favorite scary movie is probably Up. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? How I mean, scary? Flying up there in the sky? Thematically speaking, I would find that incredibly yeah. horrifying. Well, and it starts with this whole scary <clears throat> narrative about yeah. marriage and death and love and... Uh, uh, no, I, de I definitely Commitment. see Commitment. Um, oh. Mine would definitely be, especially following uh, the years we've had, Osmosis Jones. Oh, my God. The mm -hmm. invasive per personalities of vir viral infections. I yes. feel as if that's both appropriate. Yes, and, even if they're kind of sexy. Wasn't he kind of sexy? Yeah, it's played by Will Smith, dude. Yeah, it's great. Like some viruses, they be hot, but you still don't want them in your mouth. I got the wrap. It's been great, both of you. Congrats on this film, and I know that fans will love it. So thank, thank you. So you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good day. You're welcome. Paul yeah, McGuire you. Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Bostonia. Mikey, it is really great talking to both of you today. I'm a massive Scream fan, and I thought that this new one was so fantastic, and I had an absolute blast the entire time. So congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, Sony, I want to start with you. Describe getting that call that you were cast in Scream. What went through your head? I just, I couldn't believe it. I, it's funny because I, I remember after getting the call back and, and speaking to the directors for the first time, I was like, there's no way I'm going to get this. Like, this is like, I have no experience as an actor. I'm like, and I wrote it down, like manifested it. I like, it was a full moon. I like, I remember telling you guys this when I just got there about like, I was like, manifestation is real. And they're like, who's this crazy girl? I'm like, cause I feel like I, anyways, I re I wanted it so bad. And, and so when they, I got the call, I, I freaked out and I literally screamed. Um, and still I'm still I'm like pinching myself and can't believe it's. I love hearing that. I, I'm, I'm a believer in manifestations. I'm just going to keep yeah. that up too for some of my things. Now, Mikey, Scream fans are hardcore. I'm in a Woodsboro Film Club on Facebook. Have you read Ooh. any of like the fan theories out there? And what has the reaction been like so far when people like know you're in Scream? Well, I, I'm not on social media, so I don't, I kind of don't have the luxury of like getting to know what people <laughs> are saying like you do. I know you're so into that. Um, but you know, so we have a, a, a group chat with the cast and uh, the producers and directors. And sometimes people will send little things mm. and that's always really exciting to see. Yeah, oh, that's great. Now, Mikey, were you given like a dossier of movies or just things to reference throughout outside of the main screen movies? No, um, they didn't give any references. I, of course, went back and watched all of the movies, like uh, all four of them in a row um, and studied that. But no, I, I think uh, the directors were just really open to our interpretations of the characters. Yeah. Now, Sonia, what security measures were in place to just avoid spoilers? And did you have fun kind of not knowing on set what was going to be happening next? It's so interesting because, I mean, I've heard that this doesn't happen often where they keep things so secret. And like, and um, for instance, in our case, like handed out different scripts with different alternative endings and moments and, and things like that. So uh, that kept the whodunit aspect of it like off screen as well and, and made it like a fun uh a fun choice for like the the directors and production to do for us um 
but yeah, it was, it was pretty fun finding out what actually was going to happen. <laughs> oh, completely. Yeah. I was someone that was audibly reacting throughout the entire movie. Really? I got the rap. It was a blast. Thank oh. you for the time today. And I just hope that fans and other people love it as much as that I, that I did. I hope so. Thank you Thank so much. You.